All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel once again. My name's Cameron and it's been a long time since I did my last lowering input delay video. And there's actually just so much that I've learned recently about input lag, lowering your input response time and reducing input delay altogether. So I'm gonna be tackling all that in this video because faster buttons, and faster actions means more kills, performing better, doing better, and just crushing it in Fortnite. And who doesn't want to be the next best player that you could possibly be? So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe, like, you already know this video is going to help you a ton. So let's jump right into it. The first thing that I want to cover for you guys is how to check your input delay. So when you actually load up a game, you'll notice in the top left, we already have our input delay. Well, up there in that corner, you can actually also get your response time or your input lag delay. So to get that showed up there, you have to jump into your settings. You have to scroll down and you have to be on DX11 or DX12. Um, you can't be on performance mode to turn this on. Then all you simply need to do is make sure you have latency markers turned on. So what this is going to do is allow you to see latency on your computer. Um, it does say that you need required NVIDIA graphics card for this. So sorry, AMD users can't check it this way. You'll have to download a third party software. After you got that turned on, you'll need to go over here to your game UI settings. Scroll down until you find latency debug stats. You'll need to turn that on and now it will show up in game. You just have to click apply and test. And there we go. So as you can see, it's in the top left. Now our input delay is actually pretty high. That's due to my recording software. It's due to me having a bunch of tabs open and also it's due to me not having anything optimized. So we're gonna see that fall down dramatically, but as you can see, it's pretty high. It's like 14, 15 milliseconds right now, but we can get that down tremendously. First thing I'm gonna go ahead and cover is everything that'll lower your input delay without having to be on like PC, or laptops, you could do this on a game console like Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox, whatever, it doesn't matter. All you need to simply do is go into your um, your locker. I know this sounds crazy, but there's a select amount of skins, back blings, uh, pickaxes, and uh, wraps that can lower your input delay dramatically, which is amazing that this, is, this research was found out. Um, I, I learned this personally from it's Jerrion's video, so shout out to him. All right, so we just got done optimizing our locker. So this is gonna lower our input delay. As you can see, we have a basic skin, basic pickaxe, basic glider, no back bling, no contrail. And this is gonna help a ton. And the reason for this, I'm just gonna talk this through. The skin doesn't have anything that really changes or flips besides maybe the hair. That's the only thing that has any bit of animation whatsoever. As you can see, there's nothing else that changes. There's no color flashings, there's no animations. It's just simplistic, right? You wanna find a skin that is simplistic like this because even one that has hair that flips like this one, for instance, her braids will move and that little rabbit thing that she has on her side there also moves around. Those things will actually, um, they're, they're more intensive to your graphics card. So this skin here would also be a bad example of one to use. As the lights do change, it has some glowing effects to it. This is gonna draw resources and also slow down your PC a bit. So um, those are some of the examples I wanted to give you. An idea of another good one uh, would be Moxie. Moxie doesn't have anything that changes. There's no reactive colors. There's no like flipping hair. There's nothing that really moves around at all. Um, when you're playing a skin like this. So those are another good example of things you want to use and shoot for for lowering your input delay. Now let's also take a look at some of the settings we'll want to use to get the lowest input delay possible. After you got your um, your latency markers on, you can actually switch your um, your rendering mode to performance mode, which will further lower your input delay quite a lot. You will need to restart after you do that. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. After you've restarted, you're going to want to go back into your settings and you're going to want to make sure that you're, first of all, you're on full screen. Full screen is going to give you the lowest input delay possible as well. I use a uh, stretch resolution whenever I use full screen, but you can use a regular resolution. I also go for the medium uh, resolution. I don't go for the highest just because I feel like it gives me that much better input delay and lowers it that much more. Um, you can also go unlimited or you can go to whatever hertz your monitor is. Um, if you're on a 160 or 144 hertz, I recommend 200 FPS. You want to go one step above whatever the cap is of your uh, your monitor 
So if you have a 60 hertz monitor, you're gonna to wanna to go 120. If you got a 120, go 160 or 180. Just go a, a step higher than whatever your max hertz of your refresh monitor is. And if you have a 240, you can try 360. Um, I usually just leave mine at 240. Um, or we can try unlimited, whatever works best for you guys. The next thing you wanna do is make sure uh, you got your view distance on near. This is actually gonna give you the best performance possible. It's not a huge gain in FPS. It's maybe only a 5% gain, but it's still worth doing. Textures, you can keep those on low. Meshes, uh, for the lowest input delay, you're gonna to wanna to keep this on low as well. Now this will give you mobile builds. So do be aware of that. Your builds will look kinda of bad. But hey, it's a sacrifice we make for having the best possible performance that we could possibly have. And a lot of pros use the mobile look and the mobile builds because it performs better. So if that's what you want, meshes low is the best option for you. You do want to have V-Sync off, show FPS on, and that's really all there is to it. Every other setting is good here. So at this point, we already optimized all the majority of settings that you could possibly do. We also made sure you got the best cosmetics possible that'll lower your input delay. Um, the only next thing to tackle is your outside resources out of game. So we're going to tackle some of those things right now. One of the best external softwares I could recommend personally is NoPing. NoPing has helped me reduce my ping quite a lot, hence its name, NoPing. So it just gives you a better connection to Fortnite servers. Therefore, you know, like establishing a better connection so you have less lag while you're playing games like Fortnite or tons of other AAA titles like Call of Duty, Battlefield, and it's, it's awesome. I've been using it myself for almost a year now. And you can get it in the description down below. There'll be a free seven day trial that you get to just test it out. Make sure it works for you before you subscribe to it on the $533 monthly uh, payment plan. So I hope that one helps because it's a great software. I recommend it. But let's go ahead and talk about some other ways you guys can improve your ping. Easy steps that I can recommend right away is coming down to your taskbar down below. Click on your show all applications button and just remove anything you're not using. Um, what this is doing is it's just freeing up your system, which will therefore give you better connection to Fortnite and other games. You can even close Epic Games if you have Fortnite open. A lot of people don't know that. You actually don't need Epic Games launcher running uh, to play Fortnite after it's already launched. If you've set up all your NVIDIA control panel settings, you can exit NVIDIA control panel. You can literally just leave it so it's just your browser, um, which even that you can go ahead and close and that'll also reduce your ping. So if you literally reduced and removed everything, then you should have a much better connection now to Fortnite when you're actually playing the game, which means that you should be running pretty smoothly right now. If this video gets a lot of attention, I'll do an out of game uh, overview on all the things you should do on your PC to improve your ping. There's even resource packs you can download to get better timing for your keys and keyboard and mouse and stuff like that. So I can do way more in-depth stuff to give you guys advanced tips on lowering your input delay if this video blows up and gets some good views. Yeah, I can already tell just queuing up that my input delay is going to be way lower. This is going to be fantastic. All right, here we go. So queuing up, we're already at like four, dipping down to three at some points. So, I mean, that's pretty good considering. Yeah, I already feel like this is a way smoother experience and I don't even... To be honest, I don't play on full screen much, so the fact that uh, I'm seeing this much of an improvement is quite shocking. Um, I haven't even tested it, but it looks like my ping is like way lower. I'm at five ping, which is just insane. I don't think I've had five ping in, uh, in forever, so I should optimize my PC way more often. Um, but yeah, this one should have helped you guys all out, especially if you guys weren't using half those tips, which I apparently wasn't. Wow, my driver is running at 0.5 milliseconds, render is at 1, game is at 1.5, and the total is 2 to 3, which is impressive stuff. That's as good as you're going to see a non-competitive Fortnite player. Yeah, I think it's pretty solid, guys, but um, I hope this one helped you guys out a lot. Again, if you guys want to see the more in-depth video of uh, reducing your input delay, let me know. I can get you guys a full-scale upload on that. It'll probably be like 20 minutes, though. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out for now.